Hello, I'm John Payne and I've uh, written a short story uh, called Richmond's Rarity about a hospital radio DJ who gets uh, an unusual request one night. Now it is kind of unusual to get a request on hospital radio. Uh, I know I'm a hospital radio DJ myself, but and it has been kind of, it is a bit far-fetched, but uh, yeah, you've got to stretch the truth with you, sometimes with your uh, storytelling, don't you? So um, here's a little bit of it, and if you like it, then uh, you can. It's available on the uh, the Amazon store. Uh, so here, here's the uh, the first bit. That was the calm balls there, with you change my bulb. A minor hit for them. They got to number forty one and disappeared the following week into obscurity, thereby making it the perfect candidate for this show. You're listening or not, as the case may be to Dave Richmond's Rarities on Pulse Hospital Radio. No war drowners tonight to collect your song requests. Unfortunately, as was the case last week, and the week before, and the week before that, and I'll stop there before I depress myself too much. But as ever, there's a number to call direct from your bedside, which is star 600. It's not difficult to remember, but I'll say it again anyway, just because I like the sound of it. It slides off the tongue, doesn't it? Star 600. Anyway, on with the show, and I've got a right treat for you here. From my own personal collection, we have the band with no name. That's right, they're so indecisive, they can never agree on what to call themselves. But they've got some cracking tunes. This one's called Do The Right Thing. And let's start for that tooth solo in the middle eight. I kid you not. No one would call. No one ever called. Dave sighed and queued up the next song. Not much caring what it was. He had no idea whether anyone was listening. Never did. But more often than not, that didn't matter. He'd just come in and blabber on between records, not thinking about anything else. The feeling that for two hours out of the week, he was something more than he was for the rest of it, usually kept him going. Although lately, that feeling had started to wane. He would look over to the other side of the desk and find himself longing for someone else to talk to. To listen to him. Hell, he'd settle for someone just sat there reading the paper and laughing to themselves every so often. He just wanted someone to be there. But there'd been no one for months now. He shook his head to try and snap out of his sombre mood and got up to make a coffee. And just as he did, the almost impossible happened. The phone rang. 